Hi, everybody. Quint Lears, NewHomesales.com. I'm getting all of the big people. Dan Levitan, previous legend of sales and marketing for the National Association of Home Builders. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And uh, Dan is the president, owner, and CEO of Levitan and Associates. Correct. Tell me what you do because it's an interesting. He's the behind the scene guy, and you're you're going there helping people win, but you're not the frontline sales. You do something different. What do you do? We provide assistance to builders in developing strategic marketing for developments, positioning product, uh, adjusting to changing market conditions, hopefully to maximize the return on their development potential. If you're a frontline salesperson, don't underestimate the power of these consultants and these advisors because they will make sure that your builder is doing it right. What's the number one mistake that you see builders and developers making today? I think a lot of the builders and developers, and this comes from the big boys, um, go with what worked before and fail to recognize some dramatic changes that are taking place in the marketplace and the demographics and the psychographics and what people really want and people need and instead build what sold yesterday versus building and offering for sale what should be selling today. Give me one or two things that are hot right now. If you said to a builder and said, look, if you don't have this, you share a little bit behind the times. Well, I think the market's moving towards higher density and smaller home sites, smaller lots. And you've really got to design a product that optimizes the space but still leaves plenty of room for outdoor living. And that's tough to do in a 50 by 100 foot single family home site. You really got to max out every square foot, give all the features and benefits that people want and still leave room to have an active outdoor living environment because people spend a lot of their time outdoors. So outdoor living's big, but it's expensive. T tell me a tip that something inexpensive that a builder can do now that, that would be like a no-brainer. Look, go ahead and make this change in 2017. Well, shop the competition and find out what they don't have. There is a builder client of mine in one of the southern states who went head-to-head -head with one of the largest regional builders in the country. He has a model home down the street from their model home in the same neighborhood. We chose a slightly lower price point. And since the builder was unable to build a quality two-story home, we were able to not only have a price advantage, but deliver substantially more square footage for the dollar by building two-story homes and concentrating on that. We outsold that regional builder, and he's almost a national builder, three to one during the same period that we were both open. I know you're a lot involved with education. You've written some programs. You're involved with the IRM. What has that meant to you, and, and what... Tell me about the impact and everything there. Well, I'm, I'm kind of an old timer. Um, a lot of that's age. I was one of the charter members of the Institute, so I've been active in IRM since the 1970s. I taught something in excess of 500 courses for the National Association of Home Builders. About half of those were through the Institute of Residential Marketing. I found that I learned as much as I gave to my students by teaching the course and having the opportunity to interact with these people from various markets around the country. I've been active in the IRM. I'm past president. I've been active in the National Sales and Marketing Council. I'm past chair. I've chaired another couple of the committees for the National Association of Home Builders. And by giving back, I have gotten so much more in return that it's beyond comprehension. Love it. I keep hearing that. I, I've studied your courses, been through them, and I even remember one of the statistics, something like um, a new home, versus used, all things being equal, the new home should be 20% more expensive uh, or the, the used should be less expensive. A lot of people don't realize that. They're, so I used that. That's been that's helped me sell a lot of homes because people come in and say, I'm looking at a used house. I said, let's do the math. You know what? It's $5,000 less. It should be $40,000 less. Well, new homes offer a phenomenal benefit to the marketplace, and a lot of salespeople don't take the time to really – make that known to their customer that they don't understand it. First of all, you've got a product where you get to choose what goes into it. So it's your house. It's not somebody else's. You don't have to redo the furnishings. Uh, you don't have to redo the carpet. You don't have to redo the wallpaper. You don't, it's yours when you move in and it's brand new. Second, you got a warranty. Third is the history that new homes appreciate at probably twice the rate of used homes because there's limited availability on the new homes and there's unlimited availability in a resale house. Fourth is the, the, the chance to really make a start psychologically. You're starting in a new home. 
and your family starting a new home and you can build a bond in that home together with the family that is so much stronger in a new home because you're all starting together with the home than you can in a used home. That's hard to equate to a dollar value, but psychologically there's tremendous enrichment that comes to the household by doing that. Even the neighbors, it's not like, you know, who's that new girl? Who's that new guy? You're, you're the new, everybody's new, so everybody's at equal footing. You are, and you're not coming into an established clique where you're going to be the, the, the person out. There's somebody moving into that neighborhood on a constant basis, and you're getting to know them. When we moved into, and my wife and I, this goes back several years, but we moved into a new home because I practice what I preach. Um, when we moved to Florida, and everybody living there were basically new people. They were all young like us. They had two cars, two dogs, two kids, and they grew up together. And those were my kids' best friends during the process that were growing up. And many of those friends are, are now lifelong friends of ours that we met and found each other in this new community. Well, thanks for your impact. Congratulations to your success. Any last words or advice for new people in the industry? We are at the beginning of a very interesting time in the housing industry. Uh, the demand is strong. We've been underbuilding demand by hundreds of thousands of units a year. And the market needs new housing. There's some price sensitivity. There's some price issues that are going to have to be dealt with. But I think the market's going to be strong for the next three or four years. And even as rates start to creep up slightly, they're not going to be anywhere near prohibitive to someone buying a new home there are fabulous opportunities out there and now is the time to take advantage of them if there's a builder or a developer they need advice how do they contact you uh, they can call me they can go on the web at leviton and associates.net they can email me at dleviton at bellsouth.net and i've been around for a while most people know how to get me Good. reasonably easily so uh I appreciate your contribution. Thanks for, for joining us on NewHomeSales.com. We tried to get him on last year. Thank you. He wasn't feeling good, but he was still here supporting, contributing. You're the best. Thank you very much.